Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the Vico Day Challenge. I'm in Osaka. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's spa. Yeah. Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, hope you like that intro. Let's do today's problem. And today's problem is, uh, yeah, uh, uh, frequency of the most frequent element. Um, it's Larry. I'm here still in uh, Osaka, having had a good night, so I'm just trying to wake up from it. Uh, all right, let's, let's get started. 1838, frequency of the most frequent element. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. What's K mean? Okay, so basically you could add K numbers, right? Mm, okay. I think with this problem, I mean, I, I don't know the answer yet. Uh, uh, I think that with the, this problem, the one thing of uh, these problems, uh, the thing that I'm trying to do is see if I can brute force it, right? Uh, and I don't mean like, I mean, obviously uh, you can brute force with a way. Like you could very much brute force by like, you know, having a, you know, but that would be too slow. But what I mean is it's kind of try to figure out the smartest way to, like brute force in a smarter way, right? Uh, and maybe brute force is a terrible way to, to uh, phrase it. But what I mean, but you are trying to force it, but maybe not as brute. Um, and I think what I'm trying to say is that you're trying to test every possible end result. Right, with the most frequent number. Uh, for example, in this example, maybe I would try, I like, okay, can I make, like, can I, or how many numbers can I make into a one? How many numbers can I make into a two? How many numbers can I make into a four? And so forth. I think that's what I would try to do. Um, yeah. And I think that's the general strategy that I would do. Right now, how do I do it? Mm. I mean, I'm thinking of some sort of sliding windows, right? Obviously, if uh, if you really do it before, it's just gonna be n square, and that'll be not great. And you'll probably do that in a greedy kind of way, just, you know, get the closest number. So that uh, closest number that are smallest, right? So what would that look like? I mean, I have an idea visually, but I have to think about the data structure about it, right? Because basically you can fit, uh, hmm, actually these numbers are not sorted, but let's say you sort the number and that's really uh, the first thing you should always do with, with these kind of things is to give a structure to it, right? And for example, now you have uh, three, six, nine, right? So then now let's say you, a sort of a sweep line, but maybe upward to something like that, depending on how you want to visualize it. The way that I visualize it is that, all right, you're going, you have a three, six, nine, and then you almost like, uh, maybe I'll try to draw it, hang on. Okay. I don't know if this is a good visualization yet, but, but that's the idea, or I don't know, um, you know, how to get there from the end, for, uh, to the answer yet. But let's say, you know, we have, uh, nope, hang on. You know, you have a, a three box, you have a six box, mm -hmm. and a nine box. And these are not drawn to scale because I'm terrible at drawing. But yeah, basically the idea is that, okay, let's say, it's going to be a sort of a sweep line maybe. So let's say you have this, right? What What is the uh, cost of, like how many numbers can you get to three and so forth? Uh, and then now you say you have a line of six, where how many numbers can you get to from three to six? And then you have like, you know, this gap to try to figure out. And of course, in theory, uh, and I don't, I haven't really finalized the, the visualization yet, but let, let's say you have here, then now you can kind of uh, figure out how to add in these gaps in that way, right? And then uh, pop them out as necessary, right? Or something. Um, yeah, so that's the idea that I would think about, um, hmm. yeah, so hmm, this is a medium, maybe I'm missing something really obvious there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe I'm something, missing something obvious because it seems like. Uh, I mean, the, the idea the idea I had is going to work, and, and I, it's a sliding window, and, and I, we could do it. But but honestly, I, I'm like, huh, that's kind of a hard concept for a medium. But but maybe I'm just meta gaming it too much. Maybe that's just the way to do it, and I just need to do it. Uh, and but I, I'm trying to think whether there's like a even simpler solution. To be frank, um, hmm. I mean, okay, let's just do it that way and then we'll figure it out, right? So basically now you have a um, you know, for right in range of n, right? Okay, so let's say that best is equal to 1 because we always can have one number, right? right. <coughs> okay, so then now num sub right is the current number. Uh, sorry, this is a little bit tricky. That's why I'm. That's why I didn't um, hesitate, or I hesitated to to kind of do it right now, or to to do it. But okay, so let's say num sub right is gonna be. We're trying to make this number or uh, all numbers num sub right, right? And you only make smaller numbers to this, and. Okay, but maybe and then maybe probably a used section. Um, so then now that means that okay, let's say previous it, we can have length of Q. That's the number of numbers inside the the deck. Um, these are the number of numbers that are in the previous set, right? And then now, if we're going to num sub right, and I think maybe I should just do from one, and then I could say current is going to be num sub zero, used is going to be zero. Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe that's a little bit better, right? And also q dot append num sub zero, right? Uh, okay, and then now, so here. Now we're going to increase from the previous number. So the previous number is going to be num sub uh, the last number on the num thing, and then num sub right minus it, right? So basically, this is the delta, the gap that we talked about. That's why I have that visualization. Um, and then length of Q is the number of numbers affected by it, right? So then now this is going to be used. It's going to be uh, we added to this, right? We add this to the uh, to the Q, and then okay. So then now while used is greater than K, now we have to DQ, right? On the front, uh, right? So yeah, um, so pop left. Right, so this number is uh, we have to remove a number. <coughs> Excuse me, I some x, just call it x for now, right? And this number, the delta, so num sub right minus x, this is going to be a delta that we get back, so we could uh, what happened there? Uh, so we subtract this number, and that's good, all right, and then now. Um, this is so that used this. I guess this is a useless assert. What I'm doing. This is an invariant of the loop, and then best is equal to max of best, and then length of Q. That's pretty much it. So uh, it, it's kind of confusing to do the math. Maybe. Uh, hmm. I, I, I get four. Dum dum dum. Hmm. Maybe I did, I did something wrong. Hmm. I get two two wrongs. This one I get three. Why did I get three? Use this. So K is two. Um. Use this going to be 
Hmm, give me a second. This is six. This should be three. I don't even use current, so I, I thought maybe I needed it, but I guess but I think this thing is just an impressive one. But uh Okay, so this is three times one used. Hmm, no, let's just point it out. Oops. Thank you. Well, I guess I'm surprised it really depended. So, okay. This is the cue. Use this negative. Why? Huh? Well, I mean, I guess that's why we're messing up. Why, why do we get negative? Why is this negative? Num sub right. Hmm. I'm surprised should be. I mean, we sort it, right? Zeros. Oh, 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 no, no, no. You, Larry, you silly goose. This is Q's, the last element of Q, not nums. Okay, okay. I was like, huh. I mean, this. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Well, if, if you caught that on the in live, you, 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 uh, Props to you, I think is my point. Oh, Larry. <laughs> All right, let's go to some So I guess maybe this wasn't that bad, uh, but, but, uh, but eh, I think it's just easy to mess up, that's all. Actually, I don't know. I, I kind of feared it a little bit when I was doing it or before I was doing it, but as you can see, this isn't that bad. I don't know, what did I do last time? I think it's last time I did the same thing. <laughs> Uh, except I did y minus one, which makes sense because that's the previous number, and I think I think I got crossed between two ideas in how I wrote it, and then yeah, it's just popping. I guess it's pretty straightforward even actually. Yeah, anyway. uh, yeah. So what is the complexity? This is linear of well, except for sorting. So minus the sorting is going to be linear time constant. No, 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 linear space. Yeah. But because of the sorting, it's going to be n log n, obviously. I mean, it gets dominated by n log n. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's what I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.